Hello there, you beautiful people. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So, McCain's brought out these new special chips for an air fryer. And there's been a few complaints saying that they don't cook that well or they don't cook in the time they say. But as they say, with microwave ovens as well, you've got to adjust it to the manufacturer's instructions of your fryer. And one comment said, oh, it's in it's in degrees, it's in heat, well, it's not in wattage. Well, if you either look at the box that came with your fryer, or look in the back of it, or look at the instructions, it will tell you the wattage output for your, for your air fryer. Mine's 1300 watts. So, stay tuned. We're going to cook them and we're going to see what happens and see if you have to reduce the time or increase the time. Well, obviously, if you're going to increase the time, that would be great, but you can't decrease the time once you've cooked them. So anyway, I do a go S. So we'll be back soon. See you in the next clip. Background, as you can see here, is the instruction manual for my air fryer. As you can see here, addressing that person's complaint, I just got like it was on the Tesco website, which is nothing to do with Tesco. Tesco can't help that the canes or people can't read instructions because it clearly says there, you see there, power consumption, 1300 watts. Here are the air fryer chips in question. Air fryer. So let's turn these over. And it says here, preheat air fryer to 200 degrees, which we're going to do in one moment. Cook times below based on the power output of the air fryer. Cook times may vary in different models. Adjust cooking time accordingly. Okay, because these are actually recommended by Ninja. So the person who did respond said they got a Ninja fryer, but they don't cook very well. Okay, so a 2000 watt air fryer will take eight minutes. A 1700 watt will take eight minutes. And a 1400 watt will take 10 minutes but seeing as mine is a 1300 watt it actually takes the same length of time it does as tesco straight cut normal chips which can be done in a fryer but as i say we'll give this a whirl so what we'll do I'll restart. I'll see you in the next clip when we're preheating the air fryer. So here we are at the air fryer. So as it says, we're going to preheat for a little bit. So we're just going to turn that on. It said in the instructions, so we're going to wrap that up to 200 degrees. It flickers a little bit because it's LED. We're going to say 15 minutes because it's going to take a few minutes for that to preheat. So there we go. So now we're going to preheat that for a few minutes. Right, so I jumped the gun a little bit. I forgot to heat up the oven first because I'm putting something else in. So what we're going to do, in the previous, I said in the previous clip, we're just going to... Is we're going to now preheat that until it goes off. So I'll see you all in the next clip. So here we go, we're to put the chips back in. So we've got it at 12 minutes 16 now. Yeah, don't worry, it did preheat off camera. So then what we'll do about halfway through, we'll do a little shake and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. So here we are about halfway through, so what we'll do, they don't look too bad. Yeah, they don't look too bad at the moment, so we'll just get them, quick squeeze off there. There 
there we go. So as I say, what we'll probably do then is come back in a couple of moments when everything's cooked. So there you go, that's what the chips look like. They don't look too bad to me. So let's just pour them straight into there. They don't look too bad to me. I think we're in about 14 minutes. And so they haven't burnt or anything like the other ones. They're well more expensive though than the Tesco ones. What? Oh, on. Can't put them. Fantastic. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon. Ta-ta for now.